Keine Ausreden heute Abend. Warst du der Bessere? Du hast bewiesen, dass du es drauf hast. Ich habe das geschafft, was bis jetzt noch keiner geschafft hat. John Cena zur Aufgabe zwingen. So unlogisch. Tut mir leid, dass diese Ankündigung derart aus dem Nichts kam, aber ich musste die Verhandlung mit Kurt Engel geheim halten. Er machte mir ein Angebot, das ich nicht ausschlagen konnte. Viel Glück bei Raw, du wirst echt Großes leisten. Wir sehen uns am Montag, Bas. Ich kann es kaum erwarten. Was für ein Abend. Ich bin froh, dass ich meinen kleinen Teil dazu beitragen durfte. Ich fasse es nicht, dass es dich zu Raw, sch dass sie dich zu Raw schicken. Aber wir haben hier ein Band zueinander geknüpft. Und das wird nicht so leicht zerreißen. Ich stehe zu dir, ganz egal in welcher Show du bist. Schade, dass du zu Raw gehst, aber dieser Sieg über Cena verdient ein großes Fettes. Podcast haben wir. It's been over a month since Buzz beat Nakamura in Japan and I won our bet. Now Buzz beats John Cena at SummerSlam in a submission match just like I said he would and you still won't say it. Okay, okay, fine. Come on. Man, you're... <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Man, you're no. Yeah, yeah, come on. You're a wrestling genius. There, you have to say it with my full name. Uh, Pete Clark is a wrestling genius yes <laughs> thank you now can we actually talk about what happened with buzz after the summer slam match that's what people want to hear yeah since i am officially a wrestling genius <laughs> now we can move on so let's talk Crazy about the bad. huge announcement that was made buzz has been traded to monday night raw this sort of thing is unheard of he was just reaching the top of smackdown with his win over cena and then boom he's gone that certainly turned the world of wwe upside down i mean think about the potential matchups for buzz that we're going to get on Raw, Samoa Joe, Bray Wyatt, Elias, uh, The Miz, Bronx Strowman, just to name a few. I'm really excited. Slow down, wrestling genius. Buzz could very easily lose to every one of those superstars you just named. Because I think this move to Raw might be putting too much pressure on him. Come on. It's, it's a lot to handle for someone who's still relatively new to WWE. Plus, if Buzz thought Triple H was getting involved in this business on SmackDown, it's going to be ten times worse on Raw, where GM Kurt has to answer to Triple H's wife, Stephanie McMahon. Well, well, you heard it here first. Buzz's career is headed for a downward spiral, and he's never going to win another match. That's not what I said. I just stated my opinion that's backed up by my experience as a WWE superstar. That's something a wrestling genius would have no clue about. Oh, yeah, well, I strongly disagree. I think Buzz is going to be just fine. He's handled everything that's been thrown at him so far, uh -huh. and I see no reason that will change. You know I'm going to have them beat that line I said about you being a wrestling genius when it's airs. What? You wouldn't dare. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Tue ich mal meine Skills. Auf Power hier.
jetzt hier alles? Lol, hier habe ich wirklich alles. Als nächstes. Den Baum habe ich doch auch vervollständigt. Wie kann man sein Level, äh, wie kann man äh, von Anfänger steigen? Ich glaube, dafür muss ich nein online spielen ernsthaft. Ich hoffe, es gibt noch eine andere Möglichkeit. Nächster Abend. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. gathered here tonight for a very special occasion to celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach this is the 100th episode of Ms. TV when my hand goes up your mouth goes shut show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate the Miz on making it to 100 episodes. I doubt it. Komm, das ist das, was ich am besten kann. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me. Deine Antwort kriegst du gleich. There's your answer. And now the Mr. Oz quickly join in on the fight. It's three on one. Okay, das wäre vielleicht da nicht so intelligent. Rushing finale. Plus his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Wow. Wow, das war wirklich. Welcome to another edition of TV's longest running weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? 
Now, last week, we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. Soll ich so ein bisschen herausfordern oder Elias? Ja, komm. Well, other than that atrocity of a song, I don't have a problem with you. Yet. But I do have a problem with the Miz after what he and his so-called Miz-Tourage did to me last week. So Miz, I'm calling you out right now. Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row. First off, Elias, I want to apologize for your beautiful acoustic set being interrupted by this simpleton who obviously doesn't appreciate art or culture. He did it to me last week, too. Second of all, Buzz, I don't care what you do or say. You're not getting a shot at my intercontinental title. But since it seems like you're dying for a fight, I have another idea. How about you face the Miz Taraj in a handicap match tonight? You know what? Sounds good. In fact, why not add Elias to their team too? Then I can beat all three of them and show the WWE Universe what a fighting champion is supposed to look like. You are dumber than you look. I second that. The next match will be a display of fighting against all odds. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against a tuned group of combatants. Always interesting to see if numerical superiority matters. It's one of the hottest superstars in WWE, Buzz! Making his way to the ring from the city of Atlantis, weighing in at 188 pounds. Earlier today, I noticed Buzz backstage Drago checking out some vintage Reptile. Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste because when it comes to in-ring ability, there weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. Chaplin, Minnesota, weighing in at 200. 
Of course, the son of the Hall of Famer, the late, great Mr. Perfect. I'm still not entirely sold on Curtis Axel. Sure, he's had glimpses of greatness, but he hasn't been able to sustain any sort of long-term success. Corey, he was once a Paul Heyman guy. Paul Heyman saw something in this man. Yeah, and then Paul Heyman kicked him to the curb because he wasn't what Paul Heyman thought. You gotta remember, your WWE career is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And Curtis Axel has been able to run that marathon. Look who's here! Bo Bo Dallas! Leave. Calm down, guys. And from Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Bo. Mistarod did help boost the credibility of Bo Dallas, but now he's part of the B team, which means he's the best. It's about time you admitted something logical, Byron. Third generation superstar. Great success throughout his career, and there's only more to come for Bo Dallas. I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? When it comes from in the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. I'd actually kind of like to see that. Three gegen einen. Hm, okay. Yeah, four gegen einen. Warum nicht, ne? My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias's musical talent, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. Guys, unless there's some sort of minor miracle that takes place here, we're about to witness a complete massacre. Kannst du mal aufhören, mich zu... Nice move! Schlagen! Ich muss Elias nur rot bringen, okay. Die anderen dürfen jetzt gar nicht reinkommen. Äh, was? What the fuck? Nein, er wechselt. Du Pisser! Bis der wieder zu Elias wechselt, Alter! And there's an extremely destructive strike. Punishing blow to the head. I could agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. Come out on SmackDown back in July of 2008 when he was forced to take on MVP. Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin, and the great Kali. So I don't know if there's a man alive who could have turned back that force. Tornado DDT! We've seen some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years. And one that stands out in my mind 
So, jetzt habe ich Elias. Warum ist der Ring nicht mehr da? Also ich muss sagen, so wie die Story aufgebaut ist, gefällt sie mir nicht. Ich, ich hätte es schon okay gefunden, wenn er mir jetzt eine verpasst hätte und ich hätte auch verloren. Weil das gehört dazu. Jetzt habe ich echt die... Als wäre ich Superman. Als könnte ich wirklich hier... Jeden besiegen, egal ob es drei Leute sind oder vier. Es waren ja eher vier. Klar, kann ich besiegen. Kein Problem. Wer glaubt das? Ich find's. Ich find's. Es ist, wäre interessanter, wenn die auch mal mich verlieren lassen. Weil sonst ist es. Ich finde es storytechnisch jetzt mittlerweile wieder ein bisschen langweilig. Buzz ist hier auf Raw, eine continuous Quest für die Mrs. Intercontinental Championship. Immerhin haben sie mich ja auch den United States Titel verlieren lassen. I don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. 
Ähm, das ist toll. Danke, dass du mich äh, auf mich aufpasst, Kurt. And speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Weißt du, obwohl manche was anderes sagen, bist du echt ein guter GM. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? Ich muss mich auf mein Match vorbereiten. Ach komm, flirten wir mal mit Sascha Banks. 